everyone, so slightly different setup today. I'm basically the YouTube cliche, aren't I? Very likes on the bed, all that kind of thing. But I just thought we'd kind of do something different rather than my perfumes. And I thought the light here was really good and I fancied a change. So that's why we're here. Um, and today I wanted to talk to you about an exciting new beauty box. And those of you who've watched me for a while will know that I am a massive perfume lover. I adore perfume, can't get enough of it. And I did, really didn't wear any perfume today because I thought I could put some on in this video and we could kind of do it like that and it was killing me. But basically, this um, box I'm going to talk to you today about is not a subscription as of yet, as far as I'm aware. They're kind of one-off boxes ranging from kind of £17 to the more expensive ones that I think are around £45. You can get the Discovery Box, Discovery box which is um, a good kind of introductory thing to the brand and this brand was founded um, by a very very interesting lady as well who recently did a video with Trini, um, Trini Woodall on her channel and they kind of talked about it and I thought it was a really really interesting concept so I will link that down below for you and I'll put all the information about these boxes down below as well as I said prices range from kind of nine, 17 to 19 pounds for just the regular boxes and then they have VIP boxes and things that are slightly more expensive expensive depending on what comes in them. I'll put all of that link down below so please go and have a look and you will um, obviously pay for like postage and packaging and that kind of thing but still really decent value for most of these boxes and the company in question is the Perfume Society. So this is what the box looks like, really really cute, I love the kind of little logo here, I think it looks really lovely and then when you open the box up basically it looks a little bit like this. So you get all the kind of little cards inside that talk to you about the different fragrances that you've got in here and tell you about the box. Um, mine's handwritten because this was a PR sample but like that's um, different. They um, also have a kind of good leaflet inside that kind of explains to you a lot about each fragrance. And one thing I did want to show you is all of the fragrances in here, they have these beautiful cards of each fragrance, okay? And I'm gonna keep these, and when I finally get my office sorted, I'm gonna use these like on the wall, maybe kind of like put them like in a frame, or um, I don't know, I'm gonna do something with them, because I think the imagery of these is just gorgeous. And they're so handy because it basically tells you the notes that are in everything. So I'll refer to these as I'm showing you but I just think the image the imagery is just beautiful like just such a beautiful beautiful thing to have I really really like these I think they'd look really really nice like in an office kind of thing so I'm definitely going to do that um and put them kind of on display because they're too pretty so I'm going to open the box right away for you. Now one thing I want to say about this box that I think is really interesting is they do give you these little um I don't know what you would call them basically let me have a look um like the, like the, you know, the little cardboard perfume sampler things, they give you a bunch of these, which is super, super handy, so I'm going to refer to these as well when I'm showing you. And they describe to you kind of how you should test it, and like, they're called blotters, aren't they? Yeah, that's it, a blotter, perfume blotter. So you get a pack of those. Then I'm going to just show you the non-beauty things, because they like to include a little surprise, a non-fragrance thing, sorry, little surprises in here as well. So we've got the Molten Brown, Orange and Bergamot Body Wash hand to take with you if you're just going away for a night and one of the Nails Ink Gel Effect Nail Polishes in the shade Kensington High Street which is a very very pretty shade and definitely something that will be nice and kind of autumn time so very much looking forward to trying that later on. Um, then fragrances. The one that stood out to me the most actually here I haven't got to show you which is very unfortunate but that's because I used it all up because I loved it so much and it was the Erin Lauder Hibiscus Palm fragrance. So they come in these little sample books, um, packages like that. And this one had um, Gardenia Rattan, Amber Musk, Lilac Path, um, it, oh, I Cat, You Cat, I don't know, Jasmine, Evening Rose, Iris Meadow, Water Lily Sun, Mediterranean Honeysuckle, Tangier Vanilla, and Hibiscus Palm. This was beautiful. It was floral, it was kind of like very sensual, warm but fresh and I got loads of compliments every time I wore it and it is on my um, to buy list because it was just beautiful. So that one I haven't got to show you unfortunately. Um, then the next one I've got in here is from Shea Blue and this one is Black Tulip. So let me get a blotter and we shall see what this smells like. I thought we could do this on camera and it would be fun. I did smell some of them but I didn't do all of them. Mm, this is very kind of grown up. Let me refer 
to my little notes on this. Where are my notes on this? Okay, here we go. So, this one has top notes of Snowdrop. Oh, I'm not even going to try and say all of these because some of them I don't even know how you say it. Um, but they, um, they've got like questions on here as well, which is really nice. Like, does it conjure up spring or another season? It definitely, um, it has white chocolate in it and it kind of does have a very decadent feel to it. Almost a little bit smoky and it's something that when you spray it initially, it's not as appealing as it is once it's dried down. To me, I don't think this is very spring-like. I would definitely wear this more in the autumn, winter time. It's kind of got that smoky dry down. Um, but really, really nice, like a really complex fragrance. A really nice one if you're looking for something that's a little bit different. And that one is Shea Blue London. Um... What's the actual fragrance called though? Oh, Black Tulip. Sorry, I didn't say that, did I? That was rubbish of me. So Black Tulip from Shea London. Um, next we have um, 1898 Illusion Captive Noir Premiere. Oh, I don't even know how to say this. This is in French. Illusion Captive 1898. Okay, this looks like a very luxurious kind of fragrance. Let's This is very, very grown up. Um, it kind of has like a Chanel number no. 5 vibe to it. Let me tell you a little bit more about the fragrance. Mm, okay, here we go. So it's got notes of bergamot, fig leaf, cinnamon, rose, jasmine, cedarwood, patchouli, vanilla, tonka, mirth, and citrus something. I don't know how to say. And they kind of ask you, it's a sheep with fragrance, and then they kind of, you've got like notes on here about can you smell the milkiness of fig leaves and all that kind of thing. It's really nice. It's a really nice way to look at perfume. Um, it's a very beautiful fragrance. It's very expensive smelling, very luxurious, but a little bit grown up for me. Um, I like things a little bit more kind of, I, I just don't feel like I'm sophisticated or ele elegant enough to be able to pull off a fragrance like that, in all honesty. Um, I'm going to get another blotter for the next one. Next we have this one by Turi Birch and it's called Belle Azor. Really, really pretty like packaging on the um, Turi Birch thing. Now, let's see what this smells like. Oh, this is pretty. This is very kind of lemony and it has, it kind of has like a nice holiday vibe to it. So the notes that we get in here are bergamot, lemon, pink peppercorn, peony, neroli, vetiver and cedarwood. I really like neroli and fragrances in general. And it says, like, does this conjure up a particular place on the Riviera to you? It does smell like that. It's very kind of chic, like a chic version of DMG's light blue. That's actually really, really pretty. Shall I put some of this on? I think I will. And then resist the urge to go like that, because we're not meant to go like that, are we? But I always forget and do that anyway. Um, so that is that one. Then next up we have um, this new fragrance by Philosophy, and it's the Amazing Grace fragrance. Um, and this is meant to be like a very delicate, pretty kind of fragrance. The only thing is with the Amazing Grace one, it's in, um, it's in a little like dropper rather than a spray so it's harder but the top notes of this are lychee, heart notes of peony, rose absolutes, jasmine petal, um, cassie flowers, amberette seeds, Ugh, why am I doing this? I can't even say any of these words can I? Ballet pink musk. Um, I have actually smelt this before. It's a very pretty kind of inoffensive fragrance. Nice everyday kind of pretty fragrance. If you like things that are very girly, you will like this. It's not too fruity, but it is still quite girly. And it is a very nice fragrance. Like it's a nice kind of, nice everyday one. Um, then I've got uh, Kenzo World, which I don't tend to particularly like fragrances by Kenzo. I don't know why, they just don't tend to really do it for me. But this one has got, um, it's a floral and it's got pear, peony, almond blossom, and oris. I'm not gonna pretend like I know what all of these words mean because I really don't. Um, but let's see if it smells good. I mean, I can, I can do more than, does it smell good? Like, I can kind of tell what notes are, but sometimes I just don't know what they mean. Um, this is really, really nice, actually. 
you can smell kind of the fruitiness of it, light, pretty, fresh, really nice for springtime, um, but it is, it's more um, sweet than most Kenzo fragrances. You know how most Kenzo fragrances tend to be quite floral? This is more on the sweet side. That's actually really pretty, I'm really impressed with that, it's really nice. Um, so that's that one. And then, last but not least, so we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fragrance um, samples. This is by Clive Christian. Chris, Christians, Christensen? Christian. Um, and it's the private collection um, of characterful perfumes. This is so cute. Okay, look how it comes presented in the little box and it slides out. I mean, the presentation is just beautiful. And I have actually smelt these ones before. And I'm gonna, I will spray them on a little thing for you in a moment, but let me just read to you what the notes of these were, because those were actually, that, they were a really interesting perfume, I thought. Um, that one was Black Tulip, that was Erin Lauder, here we go. So two of these fragrances. So, let me just get the right ones. Right, I'm just determine which one this is. So this is L. Oh yeah, so this is the masculine um, one. So I presume this must be a male one then. Didn't kind of say it specifically. Oh, oh if it's a shareable fragrance, they describe it. Um, so the so top notes are lemon, mandarin, bergamot, heart notes are geranium, lavender, magnolia, jasmine, and orris. And base notes are amber, tobacco, and musk. It's a tobacco that I'm not particularly keen on. I'm not keen on that in fragrances. I understand the need for it. I understand that it makes for a very kind of complex, very nice, um, kind of expensive smelling fragrance, but it's just a little bit much for me personally. I think this is one of those fragrances that would be an acquired taste for some. It's very grown up, it's very kind of elegant. Um, it, it smells very French, if I'm being honest. Um, and then the other one is the feminine one, which... I prefer this one. Um, this one is pink, pepper, rose, jasmine, orris, frankincense, vanilla, musk and patchouli. I'm not keen on the frankincense in that and I can definitely smell that. Um, and it is, it's a very grown up fragrance. It's like a lot of these are very, very grown up. And if you are somebody who does really love fragrance passionately and likes things that are less mainstream and you like things that are very elegant, this is the box for you. If you're going on holiday and you just fancy taking a bunch of little perfume samples, it's great. I really think everybody needs to try one of these boxes because I think it's really fun. And it's nice to just treat yourself every now and then. You can have a look at what the boxes are and different things like that. And just treat yourself to something a little bit different rather than just, you know, like samples of body wash and things like that. But I think that I've tried two beauty boxes recently, haven't I? I tried the latest in beauty and this one after not trying many for a long time. And I've been really impressed with them. I think they're really good. So I'm going to put all the information down below. Prices, what's in this box, all of that I will put down below for you. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me let me know if you have tried any of these um, boxes because I hadn't actually heard of them before. Um, and yeah, I will see you all soon. Bye.